cleverly's holdings. I see. Uh, I see what you did there. That's very clever. <laughs> Apparently a smaller company, only $268 million market cap. Had a rough Wednesday. Had a very rough Wednesday. That looks like almost, I want to say 10%. Drop. No, actually, no, more than 10% because it, it was high 11s, almost $12. And then dropped all the way down to 10 and a half, roughly. That's, uh, I wonder what that was about. Uh, apparently, people did not like their earnings call. People were unimpressed by their earnings call. Why? Actually, you know what? I should read about. What, I should read about what they do first. Cultivates, produces, sells pharmaceutical grade. Ooh, pot stocks. This pot stock, cannabinoids, in the United States, Colombia, Portugal, Germany, and. Canada used to be known as Northern Swan Holdings. Don't recognize either of those names. Elon Musk. I think you mean Ellen Musk. Please and thank you. So apparently people were unimpressed by their reporting. Despite the fact that quarter four and full year 2020 increased by 28% and 55% respectively. That makes sense as, uh, you know, pot's coming legal in more and more places. Revenue increased 28%. All in cost program of dry flour. I guess that's what they call um, marijuana end product is dry flour? I have not heard that term before. That is news to me. And I guess that is their cost per gram to produce improved from 15 cents from 22 cents. All right, all right. Gross profit uh, increased to 2.3 million from 1.5 million. Still had a net loss, though. Still had a net loss. But an improved net loss from 11.6 million compared to 18.3 million, which is not. So notice that the difference between, the, between these two numbers is nowhere close to the difference between these two numbers. So this, um, this, I don't know what to call it. This decreased loss is not only uh, is not only due to this gross profit increasing. But probably also due to costs. Maybe this uh, cost per gram of dry, dry flour had something to do with it. Full year 2020 highlights. Revenue increased to 4%. All-in cost of dry flour improved to 14 cents. Why did it say 15 cents up here then? Um, oh, this is comparing quarters and this is comparing years. Okay. But... The, the year and the quarter would have the same end date, so you would think that the cost per gram at the end of each would be the same. So why does that say 15? Why does that say 14? I do not know. I cannot answer that. These actually look like fantastic earnings, so I'm thinking that this is a buy the hype, sell the news. But was there hype going into that, though? Um, not really. Might just be, you know, they just skipped the entire skipped the entire buy the hype phase and jumped straight to sell the news phase. That's disappointing. Again, I hate when I, I hate when I see that happens to a company because I think it's unfair, but that's just how the market works. You got to kind of like you kind of got to go with the ebb and flow of it. They had some kind of pandemonium back in early February. What was that about? And yeah, I'm done reading about the earnings because those look fantastic to me. Definitely a sell the news kind of event. Receives largest 2021 project quotas from the Colombian government. Mm. They got added to the cannabis ETF. Very nice. That seems like a very nice, uh, very nice honor. 
I don't know how to take this article, though. Apparently they s stole their head of B2B. I mean, I don't know what B2B is. But, you know, to say that another company hired someone that used to belong to your company, that's not... That's not good. But still, I think these look fantastic. Uh, this is not just a buy, but this is a buy in the buy on the dip situation uh, with those earnings where things sold off, and it and it was not appropriate. It, it was not appropriate. In fact, I would say that we are reviewing this, we are looking at this at the exact perfect time. It's kind of like a you know perfect time, perfect combination of events where... Fantastic earnings caused it to go down. Again, one of my favorite strategies is buying out of buying on events like this, where it takes a steep drop, and I don't think it's justified. So, a uh, hard buy here. Hard buy for not clover, but clever.